Well, there you go, Miss Ambrose. <sighs> Went to your Facebook page and gave you lots and lots of links. To start you looking in a more informed decision making direction. Here, shall we? Shall we start with this one? See, lots of people joined in. See all that? All kinds of links to huge YouTube playlists, scientific papers, peer reviewed. fraction if you even bother to look and forget about the agendas and doing what you're told do what the people are hiring you to do what your duty in your and your constituents hired you to do Lots of stuff. Some of these playlists are like 200 movies. So. Like I say, that's just, just not even scratching the surface. And we threw in a few, you know, <clears throat> testimonials. And just to give you an idea of what medicinal cannabis users have to deal with. Afflictions that they're treating. So there's no more excuse for these belief-based decisions. And you don't do what Harper says. You do what the law requires you. You do what you agree to for the people and represent them. Their wishes, their orders... And their needs. All right. So let's uh, let's get this bullshit war over with. Been too long. There's no, no, no time and no money to waste on this kind of insanity any longer. tax money is for better things, not for destruction, not for hurting people. All the sweat that I put into Canada and the thought and the concerns all my long life was to serve life, not, not destroy it and Monopolize everything under a couple of big businesses and all that other globalist, unsustainable nonsense. Okay. These corporations aren't your bosses. They're inanimate beasts that people have breathed life into. They don't care about people. If you don't, then I'll have to ask you to resign. And if you choose to, for whatever reason, somebody's holding something over you, uh, you got a head full of conflicting shit and you can't, you know, <clears throat> critically think and do the research with all your, your staff and make a proper decision, well... It's your strict liability. You took the job. So there's no excuse. You've been presented with at least a glimmer to just absolutely no excuse. There isn't any how under strict liability that a minister of anything <clears throat> must assume with their position and authority. No excuse. 
So, you, you continue on with this party line and make these discriminatory decisions that are vicious, horrible wastes of money and against people's basic human rights, well, then it's your liability. Not, 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 not just the victims of real poor governance. All right, <clears throat> malfeasance is what it is. We don't need any old white men telling us what to do with our bodies or our minds, and I'll add with our tax dollars if this is. A perfect example. This ridiculous war of prohibition that was started by lobbyists 80 years, 90 years ago that wanted to put their synthetic fibers out and get rid of the hemp industry. That's where it all began. And then they made it international. All the people that have been needlessly hurt. When in fact, many, many people could have been helped seriously, big time, having their lives saved and spared. <clears throat> 